Sagittarius pop into my head, into my mind's eye. My name is Marisol, and I am shopping for Sagittarius' soul. What is Sagittarius going through, Spirit Guides? What messages do you need to give Sagittarius? Freedom! Ooh, and Divine Guidance. Okay, so we have Divine Guidance upside down and Freedom in the upright position. Sag, what are you going through? You want to be free? You asking for freedom from, from what? What are you asking for? Hmm. Wow. Wow. Okay. I'm picking up on career relationships, obligations to parents, promises to a lot of people. It seems like in your circle of your network of family and friends, you come across as very grounded, almost as if you have your ex together. Um, divine guidance is coming in for you. However, I feel like you're not really paying attention to that. Let me get the word out. <sighs> yep, 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 yep. Yeah, see, there's something going on here. You've got a lot going on. You've got new love, enchantment, and children. You are definitely, I'm getting a masculine figure coming in. I see a lot of male energy, not necessarily meaning that you have, if you are listening to this Sagittarius, that you have to be a man. However, I'm feeling like you are in your masculine energy of being the breadwinner, the grounded one, the mentor, the uh, person they look up to. Um, I guess it's the same thing, but <laughs> just someone who's always been there for everyone. And it's getting to the point where you almost want to break free from all those responsibilities. You do see that it's a blessing that you have all of these um, connections and relationships, I want to say connections to your career, connects, connections for the relationships within your family. However, I'm also feeling like um, there's an imbalance between perhaps the romantic side of your relationships versus the home life and taking care of the family. Let's pull some tarot for that. Sagittarius, Sagittarius. What is this new love for Sagittarius for the month of April? Will they be receiving a new love? Is it in a romantic relationship? Is it a friendship? What is this new love? Are they falling in love with themselves? Oh, we have the death card. Hmm. Looks like we're getting over someone. Getting over someone, coming into something new, but the children are involved. So it looks like maybe you might be in a situation going through a separation, a divorce, but you are wondering if new love is coming. Oh, yeah. See, we have the King of Wands. I'm getting very masculine energy. You're probably wondering if you're going to get through this situation. And um, it looks as though you will. You will. But please, 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 please know that your children are suffering because we have a lot of responsibilities doesn't necessarily mean that you can lose sight of the importance, the true importance of what makes you happy. Okay. I know you have to work and, and make that money for your family. I get that. However, remember they do have emotions. They are sensitive and you need to nurture those relationships with your family, with your children. Keep that connection because in this reading right here, it looks as though there may be a slight disconnect, probably because you have your sight on other things and maybe you're stressed, but no, this reading is telling you, you will be breaking free of this, but listen to your divine guidance. Listen to your thoughts, your energy, your intention of how do you want this outcome to turn out? It will be happening because we have the death card. Okay. So stay strong, my Sagittarius friends, Sagittarians. Woo! Knight of Swords. Okay, looks like some communication is going to be coming through. So stay strong, my loves, and thank you so much for watching. But 
man, I can't even catch my breath. I feel like there's a lot of anxiety as to what's to come, but it's good stuff. So just stay tuned. Okay. Stay tuned in with you. Namaste, my loves. Bye.